Rally of the Gods delivered another beautiful yet brutal reminder that in this sport you can't take anything for granted. Three days of gruelling Greek gravel set against a stunning backdrop saw plenty of highs, lows and ended in a title race that is now even more exciting. So let's check out five highlights from the Acropolis Rally Greece. The 2022's rally will certainly live long in Pierre-Louis Loubet's memory. The young Frenchman made the most of his road position to take the first stage win of his career on Friday. Not only that, he was also leading a rally for the first time ever as well. It was close so many times this year and uh, we deserve this one. Sadly, he picked up a puncture on Saturday and that put paid to a charge for the podium. But he did hang on for a well-deserved fourth place. Throughout Friday's action, the legendary Sebastian Loeb showed once again that he's lost none of his swagger. The master won a short-lived duel with his M Sport apprentice Loubet to lead the rally as day one's action drew to a close. But stage nine on Saturday and Loeb was missing from the start line. He'd suffered an alternator belt failure and was frantically trying to fix it with co-driver Isabel Galmiche. Unfortunately, Loeb had to bow out. Another frustrating end for the greatest of all time. Another driver who wants to put Greece behind him is championship leader Kale Rovampera. Mathematically, he could have wrapped up his first driver's title, but it quickly became clear that opening the road was a bridge too far for even this precociously talented Finn. And things got worse when this small mistake made a good job of bending his Toyota. Any chance of a strong finish was over. After Friday's first stage, Thierry Neuville was struggling with the dusty roads and cut a frustrated figure. It's unbelievable. But he kept his head, stayed focused and started moving up the leaderboard. And when those ahead of him suffered on the particularly brutal Peravoli test on Saturday morning, the Belgian found himself in the lead of the rally. He went on to take his first win of 2022, a win which goes some way towards easing the pain of retiring from his home rally in Belgium a few weeks ago. After a season hampered by a succession of problems, there's no denying Hyundai played a blinder in Greece and fully deserved their dominant win. The I-20s withstood the punishing Greek gravel and the Hyundai drivers were near flawless. By Sunday morning, Neuville was leading teammates Oik Tanak and Danny Sordo. And despite Tanak understandably wanting to push for the win himself, Hyundai decided not to risk their podium lockout and ordered their drivers to hold position. It was a historic sweep for the South Korean manufacturer, the first time they have ever achieved a 1-2-3. So with the scorching gravel of Greece consigned to history for another year, we turn our attention to New Zealand that's coming up at the end of the month. Will the championship be decided or blown wide open?